Hello there, my Capricorn Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. A low ball offer. Queen of Cups here with the King of Wands. Is that the Knight of Wands? That's the Knight of Wands. Oh. So, Queen of Cups energy. You could be dealing with a water sign. Two of Cups. Friend, family, foe, karmic. What's the vibe with you, Cathy's? What's the vibe with you? Page of Pentacles. Start slow with something. Ooh, there's the Seven of Cups. So there's an indecisive relationship or partnership. Maybe they don't know what they feel. Maybe you don't know what you're feeling, Capricorn. Whatever it is, that Page of Pentacles, start slow with something. Ooh, this is someone you haven't been in communication with for a while. Someone you're not in communication with, Cappies. The Ten of Wands and the Magician. Lessen the Burdens. There's the Two of Swords. Ooh. Capricorn, someone who is sending a lot of uh, opposition your way. is having a different sort of vibe check here. Mm. So there's a dynamic falling apart with regard to a relationship or partnership. So do be mindful of someone coming towards you because they could have actually been working against you. I feel like they need your energy or your assistance here in order to make something work. Yeah, you've overcome this uh, opposition energy. Lord have mercy. And there's the King of Cups. Oh, Lord, whatever your take is. Uh, <laughs> someone was definitely sending some burdens your way. Now that energy has switched up. A lot of you, that hermit mode actually works on your behalf. So sometimes there are things you don't need to be concerned with. Because you're just going to attach that sort of a negative vibe to it. Damn, someone was definitely sending a lot of uh, uh, vibes your way. You turn that energy into something more positive. That's a judgment, but that feels so much like a Sagittarius temperance angel. Mm. Oh my God, that feels like uh, the song by Martina McBride. Oh, what the hell is it called? Oh, I can't think of the name. And there's the Queen of Wands energy. Lord have mercy. Someone actually sent like positive vibes your way. Oh, Lord. Capricorn. Some of y'all encompassing that hermit vibe. Not every opportunity was meant to be yours. Some of y'all, some of these romantic connections that were far more burdensome than what they ever brought joy into your life. Damn. You don't need that energy. You don't need that energy. That's almost the energy of someone had you queuing. Right? You notice that? So, damn. There's like a special opportunity that's coming your way that some of you, you weren't supposed to bring along this energy with you. So, sweet Jesus, Cappies. It's never lack of opportunities with you, Capricorn. But my, oh my. It's like you're swimming in a sea of uh, opportunists. Um... Some of you, it's like you were swimming in a river full of piranhas. Lord have mercy. The fact you sat down and allowed that tower moment to move through you made all the difference. Ooh, it made all the difference. Ooh, Cappies. There's the Scorpio vibe. There's the Seven of uh, Swords. There's the Nine of Swords. And there you are, kind of doing your own thing. Six of Swords there with the Ten of Pentacles. There with the Hermit Vibes. Oh my God, that's Temperance Angel. Oh, so Virgo, Sagittarius energy, and then there's the Virgo Vibes. So, damn. Oh, Cappies, Cappies, Cappies. Capricorns, those of you doing your shadow work, this is so fucking amazing from you. 
It's almost like a shedding season for you as well. So, you had to shed the negative in order to move forward. Some of you, not everyone's meant to be in that energy. So, you are uh, you could choose relationships or partnerships that keep you stuck. You could choose relations or partners that actually bring more burden to your life than what they do positive. Ooh. Some of you, there's far more... There's so much love there that you can't really build or grow on anything. So this is like all the I love yous, I love yous, I love yous, but you can't even like uh, find common ground in anything to even start to build a relationship or partnership. It's just all emotions. Ooh. The Virgo vibe was really uh, to your blessing. It was to your benefit. Mm. You were queuing for something, but it was uh, special for you. So a lot of you, this allows you to really enjoy that opportunity. There's that Piscean moon up there too. So not letting your emotions overwhelm you. Not letting your emotions, uh, damn. A lot of cross-watcher vibes here. So again, with this sort of group dynamic with you, Capricorn. Ooh, Capis, make sure you're doing cleansing after if you're watching anything that puts you in this sort of negative vibe. Some of you be sure you don't invite that energy back into your life. So definitely be mindful of your passionate connections. Some of y'all be mindful of those iffy uh, romantic connections. You haven't met like the right person yet. But this also feels like don't don't invite the wrong person into this Ten of Pentacles vibe with you. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. There's the Four of Cups. There's the Five of Pentacles. Ooh. Those of you might know that an ex went to another relationship or partnership for like a great opportunity, but it didn't really turn out to be that way. So now they're wanting to come towards you. So this is the energy that fucked you over. It needs you to kind of come back in. So damn Cappies. Especially those of you Capricorns that feel like you accomplished something. So hermit mode doesn't mean you're not doing anything. Temperance angel doesn't mean you're not doing anything. It's more that focus on yourself. Oh. So this is like the cheater vibes. These are the people that go into relationships or partnerships expecting a big payout, but they don't really put forth a lot of time, energy, or effort. So right from the get-go, you understand something. There's the world. Yeah, you always stay true to what your goal or dream was. That's what makes the difference. Nine of Cups to the Six of Cups to the Seven of Cups. There to the Hierophant. This kind of has a baptismal feel to it, but if you're not, uh, if that's not your thing, right? It just helped you understand something from a far different perspective. So you went introspective with regard to your relationships or partnerships. So you know which relationships or partnerships are no good for you. You're really making some interesting choices, but someone doesn't like that. The fact you have this swords energy here, there's the lover's vibe. There with this three of swords. Whew. Some of you could be dealing with uh, an ex that has had three or more relationships since you. For some of you, you could be dealing with someone that wants to come into your life that's had three or more relationships uh, that haven't been all that great. Ooh, you're going to enjoy that hermit mode. The hermit, the Virgo puts you more in this sort of Taurus energy. Damn, don't bring on some karmic people into your life. Now's not the time to muck up that energy. Damn, Cappies. 
I love this vibe with you. It is rather different, but it actually works on your behalf in a very interesting way. Yeah, there at the Five of Cups. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> Look at this. So, damn. Someone wants to bring you some, like, reused water glass. Oh, my. Cappies. Take what's yours, Capricorn, and leave what isn't. I don't like this is all of your all's energy. It's like tainted love. I mean, you could be dealing with somebody that really goes through partners. So th if this person casually dates, they like have like a week long relationship or partnership with somebody. So everything is quick, it's fast, it's spontaneous, and then it always ends. Uh, this is a person who's never single either. Oh, that's like aspects of love. When you get the choice to sit it out or dance, I hope you dance. I think you are, but I feel like you're doing a little happy dance to yourself. Oh my. There's like a marketing uh, deal with this too, Capricorn, which is very interesting. Because when this song come out, they, they had this put on every fucking thing. So, damn. Work, love, life vibes. Those of you, if this isn't romantic based with you, this could definitely be like a work opportunity. Someone's seeing your value and your worth, but they were far more interested in what they were interested in. Be mindful of catfishing energy as well. I think you've been mindful of that for a while. Someone tried to put themselves in your energy. Because you notice how surprised that partner seems. So I don't think there's a whole lot of coincidental meetings when it comes to you, Capricorn. I don't feel like there's a whole lot of coincidence when you run into the certain people at certain places. But I feel like you had to learn something here. You had to learn something. Oh, those of you that stayed way too long and... Uh, I don't want to say loveless, but there was so much love that you couldn't actually find any common ground. So even though you loved each other, you couldn't decide on anything. You couldn't make anything actually work. There was always some excuse to prevent something from moving forward. Some of you, that was to prevent you from moving forward. Scorpio there with the Ten of Swords. Some y'all water sign energy. Some y'all with uh, your emotional connections. There's that Knight of Wands again. There's the Queen of Cups with the Ten of Swords. This is feeling like tapping the keg type vibes. So, some of you are dealing with somebody who's really good at coming in and getting those kind of emotions going. But it is, uh, it's kind of like a rather intoxicating vibe. Uh, someone needs your energy. Uh, what's that song? I need your love. Da -dum -dum -dum. Ooh. Two of Pentacles there with the uh, Page of Swords. Be mindful of retrograde. There's that Queen of Wands energy. This could be a very passionate uh, person. This could be it's a, it's more of a physical attraction than anything else. There's the Ten of Pentacles again. There's the Five of Pentacles. There's the Six of Pentacles. Oh. Those of you, when it comes to a business opportunity, something don't work without you. So Capricorns, you've been a, you could have been kind of in one of those vibes where someone made a wrong uh, decision hiring somebody or someone made a wrong decision with who they chose to replace you. 
Someone could have replaced you with their karmic as well. Ooh. There's a lot of endings and new beginnings when it comes to this. But you're the one that basically stayed true to yourself through it all. Ooh, look at that. Two of Swords. There's the moon. There's the King of Cups. There's... Ooh. You're still the one. Ooh. But they're not. Who's coming at you for, like, new ideas? This, this almost feels like someone who needs, like, uh, your sort of vibe. Um, oh, my goodness. Uh, work, love, life vibes on this. As far as, like, a work opportunity, someone sees that you were the one. You were the best choice for the opportunity. But they chose someone that needed far too much. You were dealing with somebody who was dealing with a codependency. Some of them are very codependent uh, relationship or partnership. And now you get this like great opportunity. There's like balance coming in. So stay focused on you. Make sure you're cleansing. Uh, uh, this is more than just like washing your hands. Whatever you do, make sure you don't allow this energy to kind of permeate you. Because it's a... Uh, mm. This wants to go karmic so bad. You were like the perfect opportunity. Someone done mucked it up. Now they want to come in. This is definitely a relationship or partnership where you really didn't know what the hell was up. So you were dealing with someone that never... They never kind of gave you your accolades. They never gave you, like, uh, the true respect that you needed. But they were always there to take advantage of that sort of cups vibe. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Those of you that realize the hermit energy is actually a blessing when it comes to you. Especially those of you pulling pulling your energy away from people, places, and things you don't need. So do be mindful of the distractor vibes. I feel like there's an opportunity that was solely meant for you. So not everyone was supposed to uh, be in that vibe with you. See, that's like the energy of queuing. Ooh, I love the Two of Swords with you. Hermit doesn't mean stagnation. <laughs> Especially that Hermit feels uh, far more like a Sagittarius energy as well. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Some of you are definitely going into situations not really paying much attention. Uh, kind of who you were dealing with and what you were dealing with. So, Lord have mercy. Uh, Capricorns. Anything else for Capricorn? The Chariot, the Ten of Wands. The Moon, the Chariot. Oh. That's like the Land of Confusion energy. There's the Nine of Pentacles. You got like a better opportunity coming in. That's solely for you. So some of you are going to be glad the decisions that you made. Mm. What's that manipulation when it comes to you? There's the Hierophant. There's the Emperor energy. You're making like boss ass decisions here. That's a very strong vibe. There's the Empress energy. There's the Hangman energy. Ooh, this is that yin and yang. There's the Libra vibe. Ooh, there's the Page of Cups. Eight of Pentacles, the Fool, the King of Pentacles. There to the Two of Wands. Oh, wow. Two of Wands there, to the Queen of Pentacles, to the Tower Energy. Ooh. Who is trying to mask in your energy? There's something here that was meant for you, but someone is really good at uh, manipulating the vibes here. 
I don't think something worked. I don't think something worked. Because you didn't sort of give to the energy there. Queen of Pentacles, the Tower, the Empress. King of Pentacles to the Two of Wands. So, damn. In order for it to work, you have to kind of be in that vibe. So, damn. Someone's manipulation didn't work. Work, love, life vibes on this. Damn, Capricorn. I have to say, if someone was watching you, someone was watching, like, the whole sort of vibe go down here. That's what made the difference. So, some of you could get a comeback around energy from someone that's, like, higher up. So, if you were dealing with, like, a piss-poor uh, supervisor, someone could have been paying attention to that vibe. So, if someone kind of replaced you with their sort of... Uh, person of the moment this is a rather interesting vibe it brings about a better opportunity with you definitely calls into question someone's decision making as well so who was better for the opportunity Ooh, so let's just come back around energy queen of cups aquarius there's the world there's the six of wands there's the knight of pentacles Page of Wands, Six of Cups, High Priestess Energy, Ace of Swords to the Six of Swords. To the Nine of Swords. Damn, whoever the hell is uh, getting readings on you or whoever the hell is like cross-watching your readings. Sweet Jesus. It's never lack of opportunities. It's the quality of the relationships or partnerships. Oh, damn. Those of you that took a break when it comes to, like, uh, passionate connections, so maybe you did, like, No Nut November or something like that, uh, you're going to be very thankful that you did. Because this is like someone trying to weasel their way into an opportunity for you. Mm. I feel like uh, if you've got strong Aquarius placements or when Aquarius kind of came to be strong in your chart, it brought about this clarity that you needed. Ooh. Oh, damn Capricorns. I felt like someone exhausted themselves trying to create this sort of vibe. I don't know that this is uh, particular to you, Capricorn. I feel like it's kind of the energy out there. So, damn. Keep making smart choices here. Lord have mercy. What's this page of cups energy? What's this page of cups for Capricorn? Well, the seven of swords, the ten of cups, and the ten of wands wanted to come out. So, relationship or partnership didn't quite go the way someone planned. So, they could be wanting to come back towards you. What is someone's uh, ulterior motives for wanting to be in a relationship or partnership with you? What more can they get off of you than just a relationship or partnership? Seven of Pentacles. Oh. They see your potential. There's the Six of Wands. There's the Hierophant energy. There's the Emperor vibes. There's the Aquarius energy. Ooh, keep that focus on yourself right now. Especially those of you, when you get into a relationship or partnership, you tend to overwhelm yourself. 
This is like distractor vibes. There's the world. There's the Libra energy. There's the Knight of Pentacles. And there's the Queen of Pentacles. Who or how can someone kind of piggyback off of what you got going on here? Someone wants to go from being backup singer to being the main person. So, damn. Aquarius has been having this show up in the readings too, a Capricorn. So if you've got strong like Aquarius placement, do be mindful of that. Um, so some of you, this could be people kind of external to you. This could be friends of friends or uh, this could be... Uh, People's current partners, right? Anyone in your vibe who has a partner. Those of you, if you're dealing with like work partnerships, relationships. Someone really likes your energy. But they want the chance to kind of piggyback off of it. Oh, Lord have mercy. Watch an Aquarius reading. They've been having that coming up for a while. This could be inter interesting astrologically with you too. So Capricorns, you could be feeling like a boost of uh, energy here. Like a very creative vibe. A very uh, prosperous vibe. There's like a gain in momentum as well. So you could feel things kind of speeding up when it comes to you. Now there's that tower energy. It's almost like you get a boost from Aquarius. Capricorn, some of you, your crosswatcher vibes kind of bring this boost in for you too. So stay focused on you. Keep making smart decisions. Some of y'all be mindful going into this retrograde. Because if you're the topic of conversation, for a lot of you, that actually brings about better opportunities. Those of you dealing with like lower management and then like upper management starts looking at things. So this is very interesting. Some of you relationships or partnerships could be called into question. So that makes the difference here. What's over that Queen of Pentacles? Nine of Cups, the Three of Swords, the Five of Cups. King of Wands with the Three of Pentacles. Ooh. You were dealing with somebody that was kind of like a dream catcher. I feel like you avoided this energy. Because you focus more on you. So you didn't allow yourself to be overwhelmed. This could be a friendship. This could be any kind of partnership. If this had any romantic vibes, that made the difference with something too. There is this energy of like impropriety. So that's what makes the difference. You get showcased either way. But this is like the backup singer that wants to sing lead. This is like uh, the person in the background that kind of wants to get the opportunity. Oh, Lord have mercy. Over top of that, there's the Ten of Pentacles. There's a great celebratory vibe coming in for you Capricorns. This could be some sort of dinner. This could be some sort of party. This could be some sort of acknowledgement. This could almost be like an anniversary vibe with you. Stay prepared and ready. This is like moisturized, hydrated, ready to go. Lord have mercy, Cappies. 
I don't think a lot of this has anything to do with you. It's kind of external to you. But it's a secondary type vibe. Right? There's like the venue, and then this is like the, the Harpies vibe. So, sweet Jesus, Capricorn. Mmm. The manipulation don't work no more. So whatever this sort of vibe check was for you, those of you getting out of the passionate connections, uh, those of you making smart choices, some of you this could have just been, maybe you're not dating anymore. Some of y'all could have had to take a break because there was a burning sensation. I don't know your life, but damn. Some of you have already getting stuck or stagnant. So this is definitely about a fertile vibe with you as well. Whether this is a romantic relationship or partnership, a passionate partnership, or some of you are just a working relationship or partnership. You weren't there to let it happen. So the hermit mode actually worked for you. It's hermit, but it's more like temperance angel. So this is like good vibes. This is like a good conditioning energy too. That's what makes the difference with you. Definitely watch your favorite astrologer. Some of y'all could have been feeling this vibe for a while. This is like red light, yellow light, green light, go. Ooh. Capricorn, send your cross watchers love. Because I feel like they kind of bring about this interesting opportunity with you. Those of you, this, if you're if you're dealing with like secondary energy, this feels like if you were dealing with like a uh, regular management, and then upper management starts paying attention to a situation, and uh, your sort of vibe comes into it. Definitely something with uh, regard to propriety of something. Way too much there, Cappies. So I feel like there's a lot of mixed views on this. There's a lot of kind of mixed emotions. Whatever your energy is, Capricorn. So fill out those resumes, do those auditions, whatever the hell this vibe is with you. Edge of the world, leap into the unknown, calling courage and taking risks. Why does that feel like Virgo and Sagittarius energy right there? So maybe you have strong Virgo placement, maybe you have strong Sagittarius placement. Ooh, I love this for you, Capricorn. Something was meant for you. That's why you were queuing the whole time. So, damn. That definitely feels like Five of Swords energy, too. So, I definitely feel like you had to sort of disconnect from your feelings, your emotions, and find that sort of vibe. Find that creative energy. I feel like you're getting an interesting sort of boost uh, because you did. It's like Virgo and Sagittarius vibes. So Hermit and Temperance. Ooh, that stagnation is there for a reason. Soon you'll understand. Anything else for Capricorn? Is there a song? This could definitely be more work-related when it comes to you, or... Like, I don't know, if it's romantic, I think you're going to be doing your own thing. So some of you, this puts you in a better opportunity to find a better partner, someone you can trust. Some of you could be like a completely new opportunity. So you could get the opportunity to work on something special. This could be uh, changing uh, uh, a 
It's not just a title change. It changes everything. Somewhere over the rainbow Bluebirds fly Ooh. Damn, look at you go, Cappies. Take what's yours, leave what's not. This is absolutely beautiful. I feel like that's an outpouring of love. That's like an outpouring of blessings energy. That's almost like a, a baptismal type vibe. Definitely make sure you wash off any of the sort of negative energy around you as well. So that way you don't carry that, that stuck stagnant energy. This is like a... Getting yourself in that fucking perfect vibe. Definitely be mindful of the stuck stagnant energy around you. So definitely do some cleansing. Don't take on that negative energy. When you feel that negative energy coming on, uh, do some sort of grounding uh, work or uh, whatever you use. Smudge yourself, right? Mm. Keep dreaming big too, uh, Capricorns. Keep dreaming big, too. That still feels like Sagittarius and Virgo vibes. But that also feels like Five of Swords. And that was Five of Swords. Good luck, God bless, take what's yours, and leave the rest. Keep that dream going. Keep that uh, sort of vibe uh, within you. Because, damn. You got this. Peace, love, and light, Capricorns. Good luck, God bless. Like, share, subscribe.